hey guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome i'm actually gonna jump right into nail prep i'm taking this cuticle remover and i'm going to apply it on all of my cuticles this is really just gonna soften the dead skin that is on my cuticle and that just needs to be removed and pushed back i did end up applying a little too much on some of my nails I'm going to leave the solution on my cuticles for about 45 seconds before touching them and then I'm going to push away all that dead skin back. If you prefer to cut your cuticles, you're more than welcome to do so. I just prefer removing my cuticles this way. After I'm done pushing back my cuticles, I am going to wipe away some of that solution with some alcohol. I'm taking my sanding band and I'm removing shine from my natural nail plate. I'm really ensuring that all of my nail is filed just to avoid my nails popping off at any given time. After I'm done filing, I am going to take some nail tips. The ones I'm about to show you, they show the Unagella box, but I only put some short C-curve nails there. I like these nail tips for short nails. I just find it better than using super long nails just to cut them short. I'm going to apply one layer of dehydrator on my nails before gluing on my tips. I find this to be really good for retention. Here is the nail glue that I'm using today. I got this at the beauty supply store. You can use the nail glue of your choice. And once I have those on, I am gonna repeat the same thing on my other hand. I'm going in with my sanding band again to blend the tip with the nail. If you don't have an e-file, you can use a regular hand file. I personally think this is an important step in nail prep as well when it comes to poly gel. Since we are putting a layer of base coat on the entire nail, I think it's really important that we have the tip blended with the natural nail. I feel like it's been so long since I've done actual nail prep with you guys, but I intend on doing a fill with these. I'm going in with the Mia Secret dehydrator again. I'm applying one layer.
then I'm gonna follow up with a layer of primer. If you find that your nails don't stay on for long, you can apply two coats of primer. Just make sure you let each layer of primer and dehydrator dry completely. Then I'm gonna go in with some base coat and cure it in the lamp for 30 seconds. Here's the poly gel that I'm using for today's application. It's my go-to nude. And here is the slip solution that I'm using today. For shorter nails, I do like to apply a bead a bit closer to the cuticle and work my way downwards. I just find it to be a bit easier this way. If you feel like you want to build an apex, you can just add another cuticle bead. I'm personally going to add a cuticle bead just because I feel like the nails are kind of flat and I do want to build some structure to my nails. I'm basically going to be doing the same thing on all of the nails. They're all going to be one solid color. Now that I'm done with application on my left hand, I am going to move over to work on my other hand. 
I feel like I've never shown you guys application of my non-dominant hand, so I'm gonna do that in today's video too. Once application is done, I am going to wipe off the sticky layer with some alcohol just so we can begin filing. Okay, so starting the gel art, I am using these two colors from Beatles. I wanted a light blue croc print French, but I didn't have a blue that was light enough or had the hue that I wanted. So I am mixing the white and the blue. I'm gonna start by drawing French tips on all of my nails.
after I'm done with gel art, I am going to apply top coat on all of my nails and I am going to cure it in the lamp for about 60 seconds. So for the 3D croc print, I am taking my dotting tool to create the croc. I'm kind of just making lines across my nail. I'm using clear dip powder for the art. You can use acrylic powder if you have that too. So while the gel is still wet, I am going to pour translucent dip powder over the art and then I'm gonna cure it in the lamp for 60 seconds. I'm going to repeat that same process on the rest of my nails. Here's how the end result looks like. I really love this French. I kind of wish I kept it that way because I did add some nail charms. I kind of felt it needed something. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. I really like the 3D croc print. I haven't done 3D croc print before, so this was pretty new for me. I have everything I used linked in the description box. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching.